If the Greeks were originally of Indian descent, why didn't they worship the gods using their real names? And if they were Indians, then how and why they changed their language from Sanskrit to Greek? So this idea that the Greeks were of Indian origin comes from various sources. Let's put one of the sources. One of the ideas is that you know you have the battle of the ten kings. Okay, now and and those ten, eleven, twelve clans were expelled from India forever. And they became the originators of the Indo-European languages across Eurasia. So, Talageri, uh, Ten Kings, uh, I, uh, clan names, clan names. Okay, the 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 was Vishwamitra, etc. Let's see the Dashraj in the Battle of the Ten Kings, and Alina. Okay, so who are the opponents of King Sudas? The Prithus, the Parthavas, the Parthians, the Parshus and the Parshvas, the Persians. There we have it. You can see already the Shimus, the Brigus, the Druhus, the Alinas, the Paktas, the Pakti, and the, 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 the Pashtuns, the Bhalanas, the Bolan Pass, <laughs> the Shivas, the Vishadins, uh, uh, and so on. So he exa- he tells you who these people were the Simu, the uh, etc., uh, Nuristani, Pishanin, the Pakhtun, Pakta, the Bolani, Bhalana. Partho Parthians, Parsho Persians, Madra, the Madai, the Medes, the Khiva, the Hai, Alina, Sarmatians. So, when it comes to Greece, the Alina clan that faced off against, uh, which was one of the 11 or 12 clans that faced, that faced King Sudas, the Alina, they probably are the originators of, of the Hellenic people. The Hellenic people are the Greek people, obviously, right? So that is a strong possibility. It is not proven for sure, but it's a strong possibility. Now, if this battle happened around 6000 BC and, Pers- and Greece became a great high civilization 2000 BC, that's 4000 years. That's a gap of 4000 years. A lot happens in 4000 years and it explains a lot if this theory is true. Now, tell me something. You, it's a great question that you're asking. Now, let's understand it logically. The question you're asking is, why didn't the Greeks, if they were originally of Indian descent, why didn't they worship the gods using the real names? Now, tell me today. Hmm? Today in India, how many of you worship Lord Indra using any name? How many of you worship Dios Pitru? How many of you do? Has anybody even heard of Dios Pitru? Dios Pitru, the father of Indra. That was the original god. Dios Pitru and Prithvi Mata, the sky father and the earth mother, those were the original gods and go- goddesses, god and goddess. Nobody worships them today. In India, who worships Lord Indra today? Nobody does. What happened? We ourselves have changed. Who worships Skanda today? Some people in South India. Some people. But the rest of India, does anybody remember Skanda? We had an emperor named after Skanda. Skanda Gupta. One of our great emperors. Right? We have forgotten so many of our own gods. We have relegated them to obscurity. Right? And we have so many new names for gods and goddesses. I mean, we have multiple names for gods and goddesses. That evolution happens in India also. And if they, if the, if the question is why did the Greeks change their language from Sanskrit, from Sanskrit to Greek? Well, simple question: How many of you speak Sanskrit today in India? How many? How many do? People speak Bengali, Assamese, Kashmiri, Punjabi, Marathi, uh, Odia, Gujarati, Haryanvi. You can go on. What happened to Sanskrit? Why don't Indians speak Sanskrit today? The same process that happened in India happened everywhere else. And that's the answer. Very simple. Right?